do a wig review on this unit um, just because when I browsed around on the internet, well, YouTube, I only saw one wig review on this unit. And that was by your girl, Natural Joy 86. I love her. But I think she just goes by Natural Joy now. But yeah, um, so I will put a link down below to, well, if you did want like a second opinion on this unit. Um, this unit is by Sensational. Um, they are well, you know, renowned, well renowned wig group. And the name of this unit is Naughty. Naughty, Naughty. I don't think there's any other way you can pronounce that, that word. So I'm going to go with Naughty on it. So, Sensational Naughty. And here is the cute one. Excuse my nails. Okay, guys. I, <laughs> it has been struggle week, okay? <laughs> but, anyways, um, so this is the card for it naughty and um, I got it in a number two it is a left side part as you can see natural left side part I didn't manipulate it that way and it's a deep curve part as it says um, so there are other colors that you can get it in um, I'm just hoping that it's focusing right if it's not I'll definitely just put like a clip of it and so you know you don't disrupt the flow of this video I'm trying to keep it short sweet and to the point but yeah, so they have multiple um, colors that you could get it in. Um, some bold colors like 615. Ooh, that is intense. Um, SM2 350 slash 27. And then you have SM350 33 slash 4. That's actually the one I kind of wanted to get. But I chose this wig to wear because I wanted it for when I started my new job, which I did. I just finished my first week of training for my new job. I was like, let me not be too bold because I don't know what the guidelines are. So started off with something natural and cute. And so this is what I wanted to do. And I know it's winter, but I, I don't know. I love curly, curly units. So I chose this one, and I don't regret it. And I'm a left side girl. I love my left side parts. <laughs> So this was just a no-brainer. Um, so let's get into the specs. So this wig is a very curly unit, not tightly curled, but I would say loosely curled unit, you know? And um, so I already know that it's the left side part. It's curved. And as you can see, when you look at me, <laughs> it looks natural as hell. It is soft lace, and I did not, well, all I had to do was just cut it. Um, I plucked it just a little bit, just a wee little bit. I put the concealer underneath. So what I did is I turned the wig inside out and I put the dab the concealer on there, rubbed it in and so forth. And I just plopped it on the head. Um, the size of this unit, I would say it's average size friendly, you know? So if you have a small head or a big head, it will still be able to accommodate you and fit comfortably. Right now, I have the straps. I have them, I don't have them adjusted all the way. I only have them on one loop, the first loop on each one. Um, okay, no, that's a lie. I have them on the second loop because it was kind of big on my head, but I have a very small head. So what I had to do was I had to fold this flap, actually, because of my small head, just so that it could fit well. Because if I didn't, then um, I wouldn't have been able to do such a deep left side part as it is now. Um, but with doing that, as you can see, it didn't disturb the curls or anything, and you don't even notice it until I, you know, I point it out. <laughs> so that's very good. And hmm, did I customize this wig? So besides just fluffing it out a little bit, because obviously when it comes in the package, it's very, you know, tightly condensed, you know, and compressed. So I fluffed that out, and then I noticed, okay, I'm not going to lie. So you see how on the, um, the product card, how the bang is a little bit longer and mine's a shorter? That's literally all I did to alter this unit. I just did a little, I just cut it, snipped it a little bit. I want to say I cut off like half an inch. Kid you not, I just cut off half an inch, you know? And um, I didn't even pull them when I cut it either. I just left it how it would naturally lay, and then I just cut it. You know? And yeah. So I'm going to see if I could give you guys a close up on the parting space so that you can see what I mean that it is natural and it just blends in like butter. I swear to goodness. <laughs> so let's see here. 
do, do I hope you can see it if not then I will just insert a clip of how it's looking um, going back so this is a unit and I think I can safely give a one week review on it since I literally wore it for my whole first week of you know while working and it's held up pretty well obviously you can see the more I wore it the more natural it became I did have to put um, some dry shampoo on it to you know tame that shine it had because it did come off a little wiggish and then I and then I put some holding spray because I do not want to disturb these curls I did not rake my hands through these curls let me say that again I did not rake my hands through these curls because that's kind of like a big somewhat of a no-no so you could fluff it but putting your hands in, the, in these curls don't do it just don't do it to yourself okay you pretty much would just be burning your body. <laughs> so yeah. Um, all right. I am going to go ahead and give a um, 360, you know, view of this unit. Okay. So this is what it looks like from the front. Okay. This is what it looks like from my left side. Okay. This is what it looks like from the back. And then the right side, my favorite side, obviously, after all the curls pop. <laughs> and then we're going to go back to the front. And one more thing I wanted to add, yo, I swear it's like a plague for me, even with my own natural curly hair, this problem, oh, this little pet peeve always occurs. But you see this, how this long curl over here trying to steal the shine and not trying to roll with the pack? You know, I respect that but i'm not gonna tolerate that okay so this has been the only <laughs> con for this wig is that that curl right there that i just placed back which probably just effed up my whole little swoop thing i had going on little curly thing i had going on very annoying what i've been doing to lock it in place has been putting some you know holding spray on it so i think i chose fruities garnier 72 hour holding spray and I just sprayed that on there. So for majority of everything else, it's been working well. It's just that one up and curl that just refuses to stay with the pack. But you know, it's okay. You take that little curl to a dark alley, rough it up a bit. It'll, it'll, I don't know what to do moving forward. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Way food powers over here. But um, yeah. So all in all, my final thoughts on this wig is that it is good for everyday use, I feel. However, with that, I don't think it's gonna last long. Like, as you can see, it's starting to get natural now. Um, well, it's starting to look natural now, but I don't know if you noticed when I did the back view that the back of the hair was starting to bunch up. I don't like that. I really don't like that <laughs> at all. So, mmm. Um, so I know after week two, I'm going to have to put this to rest. I don't know if it'll be RIP. Maybe it'll be just, I don't know, a week I could just bring back again, bring back out again on rare occasions or where I just really need to go run an errand real quick. Uh, so that's unfortunate. So I don't, I feel like the durability of this will, well, the longevity of this wig is, will be short-lived. You're probably going to get like two weeks of continuous wear, two, three weeks most. Of continuous wear with this wig and mind you I'm very good with my wigs like as soon as I'm done after days the day is done I put them back in its net netting that it comes in as well as the you know the plastic slip that it um you know arrives in so I'm good there it's just doing stuff it's winter time maybe that has something to do with it, but whatever but anyways I feel like you'll get two to three weeks of wear from this wig is it hot? I feel like it's very breathable. Very breathable mesh. Yeah, it, it has netting, a mesh netting in the back. So very breathable. You probably only get hot up here, but I don't think you'll notice it that much. Um, I didn't even have to blend my freaking edges, if you notice. You'll probably see like so, you'll probably see that pin right there. That's where I uh, pinned it down. Um, but yeah, other like. I do feel like, well, this is the golden spot. This is what I feel really matters because this is just covered by the bang. If you notice over here, 
Yeah, this shit look like it's growing out of my sky. It just looks like my roots, they just need a little touch up. <laughs> but I feel like the little swoop action I have here and everything covers it up, you know, covers up my edges really well and helps it blend in more to make it look more natural. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this review, please comment, like, and if you want, subscribe. The very first video, so <laughs> quality, I'm not even worried, stressing about it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Sorry for the ranting, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time on my next video.